you may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. These words were spoken by Nikola Tesla, someone who single-handedly helped to plunge us into the new millennium. This quote has been around for a while. However, those who have studied the life of Nikola Tesla have managed to find the exact date when he spoke these words. Going back in 1898, Nikola Tesla was demonstrating one of his inventions to spectators. Regarded as the world's first drone, Nikola Tesla constructed a small mechanical boat and built a wireless transmitter inside of the device. This could in turn tap into a specific frequency of what he called the ether. We now know what he was referring to was the electromagnetic spectrum, or more specifically radio waves. He then built a remote control device that could manipulate the boat and cause it to move around and float on the water, as if it were a fully manned crew. Nikola Tesla took his boat out to the electrical exhibition in 1898, and made a powerful demonstration that drew a crowd from all around. He placed the boat into a nearby pond and told the crew that the boat had a bunch of tiny people inside, and that they could hear them so the crowd began shouting commands that could change the boat as the tiny people supposedly listened. Of course, Tesla had the remote control in his hand and many people came out to see this demonstration. After the demonstration was over, Nikola Tesla then told the crowd there was no tiny people inside and that he controlled the boats using nothing more than electricity in the control over the ether. Upon hearing this claim of mysticism, many people in the crowd claimed the whole event to be a hoax, and forced Tesla to open the boat to prove there was no tiny people inside. When he did, the crowd was even more baffled at the idea of the ether, and believed the Serbian inventor had control over magic and telepathy. Someone in the crowd then asked the question, why, with your radio boat loaded with dynamite, we would have any enemy navy in the world at the bottom in no time. However, Tesla wasn't so fond of this idea and said the following. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. An eerie foreshadowing of what our world has created in the modern day. Nikola Tesla was clearly someone who had advanced knowledge in his field. Tesla would dedicate his life to his work and would always try to one-up his previous inventions. Tesla began believing in an old alchemical mysticism known as the ether. He would talk about it for length and believe that he could tap into it and use his abilities to create a future in which magical devices could exist, and change the landscape and powers of humanity overall. This led to a popular quote that many people reference today in which Nikola Tesla states, When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole world will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we are face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles, and the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will fit in a vest pocket. During Nikola Tesla's popularity, there were many who believed that electricity could only efficiently travel and be used with the help of wires and materials, that could allow the electricity to travel through the materials to be used to power devices. However, Nikola Tesla had his sights set on a future in which wires of any kind would no longer be needed. Known as the Tesla Coil, Nikola Tesla designed his own device that could efficiently help to allow electricity to travel wirelessly through the air and connected devices to allow them to be powered. Today, many different types of these devices can be found online, and even constructed to be used as a primitive source of power. The problem that persists today is the efficiency of this system is lacking, and a lot of the energy is lost to the surrounding airwaves. Nikola Tesla is said to have solved this issue, but was never able to complete his project as his main financer, JP Morgan, quickly backed out of helping Tesla. This was allegedly after learning that he was going to supply free electricity. Unfortunately, in the modern era, the Tesla coil is widely used for entertainment purposes and nothing more. One of the most important construction projects ever developed on Earth was that of Nikola Tesla's work on the Niagara Falls Power Project. During his time back in university, 
Nikola Tesla had a vision that he would construct massive turbines at the Niagara Falls to one day turn water into an electrical generating source. The problem with such an idea at the time was that direct current made it ultimately impossible to use electricity of the falls, as it was located too far away to tap into the power of an electrical grid. Despite these problems, Tesla would continue to dream of the impossible, and work day and night to see his dream come true. During the height of the electrical wars between himself and Edison, Tesla would demonstrate the power of his alternating current by working to construct the first ever hydroelectric generators at the Niagara Falls, that could be used to power homes and buildings miles away than what direct current could ever help to supply. Though many might argue that there have been plenty of other engineering projects in the past that have been on a much more massive scale than that of the Niagara Falls power project, its importance was not due to its difficulty but rather the precedent it set for the future of electricity. Had it not been for the success of Nikola Tesla's work on the Niagara Falls power project, the world may still be having issues switching over from direct current in the modern day. During the rise of the use of electricity in the home, the world had often used direct current as its source of electrical power, of which led to rising electrical costs and the need for electric companies to build generators every few miles. This was just to meet the demands of the system. This was due to direct current slowly dying down after only a few miles, and being overall unreliable in many aspects. This would lead Nikola Tesla to invent alternating current that worked to allow electrical current to continue more efficiently for much longer distances, as well as providing energy at a much cheaper cost to those consuming its power. This would eventually lead to direct competition with that of Thomas Edison of whom spearheaded his direct current campaign by claiming that alternating current was far more unreliable. Despite being untrue and direct current suffering from far more safety issues than alternating current, this would lead to the electric wars between the two inventors, and competing for their inventions to be used as the forefront of innovation, quickly leading Nikola Tesla to take the lead and satisfy far more power demands, and being able to do it in a reliable manner with overall cheaper costs compared to direct current. Had it not been for Tesla's invention, the modern world would have unreliable electricity, with generators needing to be constructed every few miles just to meet everyday demands. The most peculiar report that surrounds the inventor is that of his oscillating machine. It's been reported that this machine was able to cause many earthquakes within his vicinity. Interestingly, it was reported that the machine became increasingly more powerful as the machine is left on for a prolonged period of time though many claim the reports are nothing more than exaggerated accounts. The original event was reported by a reporter back in 1912. This was after interviewing Tesla of whom gave a detailed account of his first attempts of testing the machine in practical terms. According to the inventor himself, Tesla had bought a small version of his oscillating device, no larger than an alarm clock and attached the device to a steelwork frame. This was on a building that was still undergoing construction, after adjusting the oscillator, the building began to tremble and the structure quickly came down, with many believing that an earthquake had just occurred. The police was called shortly after as an investigation quickly began, causing Tesla to quickly retrieve his device and leave shortly after. Although many now believe the story was made up by Nikola Tesla for nothing more than additional media attention, Others disagree given the fact that theoretically if an oscillating device could match the renaissance frequency of an object, it could cause it to vibrate and tear apart. Today there are no surviving mechanisms of such a device. The researchers are now well aware of a phenomenon known as resonance frequency, in which any element can be broken down when subjected to certain frequencies and vibrations. It appears that Tesla was a man born in the wrong era, his work was left unfinished, his tower was destroyed and he ended up passing away penniless and alone in a hotel room. His work left behind those helped to lay the foundation of a better world, but had the world been ready for his gifts much more could have been accomplished with ease. So what's your opinion on the late Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.